that not even close, but there's a, there's a lot of amazing things that has already started to happen and continue to happen for me as an entrepreneur. And um, I'm so proud because I'm working so hard together and it's only by God's grace that it's all kind of coming together. Um, so I'm trying to get, sorry, I'm moving the camera around so much. I don't want nobody to throw up on me. Uh, damn, this is not really working out, is it? Let me set it up on an apple. There I'll be I'm waiting on you. Oh, baby. Okay. See, I'm trying to set my camera up on a banana. It's not really working out, so let me just hold it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that the camera's moving around so much. Okay, so here's my message. Um, I have to ask you, so I have to ask a question. Um, I have this thing where I say self-love is the cure to self-hate. And um, I'll say it again, self-love is the cure to self-hate. Now, what I'm about to say is not with the intentions of getting everyone to separate from family, from marriages or relationships. If anything, this should inspire you to stay in it if you're happy. And if you wanna be happier while in your relationship, this will help hopefully to establish having more of a bottom line and setting boundaries according to the relationship that you're in. So here we go. Everything that I do, everywhere I go, every meeting and conversation that I have, every phone call that comes into my cell, every text message, every invite, I get text messages with invites to this club, this private mansion party, this and that, all the above, I'm just not interested. Because at 35 years old, I'm a grown ass man. And me being a grown ass man, I will say this. Everything that I do at this point is connected to two things. Number one, how much do you love yourself? Because if you understand the value of self love, then you would never fuck with a girl like that. You would never fuck with a dude like that. You'll never be friends with those type of people or ever accept any invites that has to do with this or that. I already know how you're going to make me feel because I've hung out with you before and you've already made me feel that way multiple times. So you continue to invite me and I continue to show up because I'm desperate to have friends. I'm desperate for the validation of all of these people being around me, feeding me, feeding me, feeding me. I ain't shit until you tell me that I'm the shit. I don't love me until you tell me that you love me. I don't like me until you tell me that you like me. Most of the people out here are running around empty. They have no sense of self, no sense of self-love. When I say self-love, it has nothing to do with celebrity, money, materialistic things, and all of the things that your negative mind could probably go to has nothing to do with self-love, has nothing to do with looks, nothing to do with cars and any of the superficial things that one would assume that could make you love yourself even more. It's a matter of knowing your value. It's a matter of you saying, I don't have to be around these people in these type of environments and situations in order for me to finally see the value in myself. I love me independent of you loving me. I believe in me. I know my self-worth. I know clearly that I'm a child of God and God has a purpose over my life. And if he didn't, I wouldn't be here anymore. And I don't need you to tell me that. I don't need you to validate me. When you give me compliments, it inspires me to keep going. 
but you're not the reason I'm doing this. The comments, the feedback, the energy is not the reason I do what I do. I am here and I have a purpose. There is no value in having wisdom, knowledge, insight, spirituality, love, and, and having all of this stuff that I'm aware of. And I'm not perfect. I've had flaws. Every day, I am a work in progress. But what is the point in me being successful, traveling the world, having money, cars, and all of the things that I currently possess? Knowing that there's a lot of people out there that look up to me and inspired by me, not because of my looks, not because of just my talents, but now that y'all are getting to know me on such a personal level, y'all know that I'm a thinking man. I have a heart with views, perspectives, insight, information, spirituality, wisdom that God continues to drop down on me, as well as wisdom that God continues to send people. God sends me people to drop wisdom and insight on me. And I'll be like, oh, that was crazy. It changes my life every single time. So as soon as the information is passed on to me, it is not an opportunity to do a video. It is a responsibility. So let's get back to what I was saying. Self-love is the cure to self-hate. I don't like you, I don't trust you, and I know you talking shit about me from behind my back. So why would I ever fuck with you? Why would anybody who truly loves themselves hang out with or mess with those type of people? Now here are the worst type of people in the world to me. The people who literally hate your guts and dislike you and you don't have a clue that they feel this way about you because they're able to cover up all of their malicious energy and intentions towards you without giving you no trace that they don't fuck with you. And then when you finally find out, you're like, oh shit, you've been saying this and doing this and you feel this way about me? I had no clue. But when people show you who they are and you see it to the point where you're able to talk about it, can you believe what she said about me? Can you believe that? And you're able to talk about it. Then you get an invite from this same person that you was just sitting over dinner crying about the following week and you show up. You don't love yourself. For you to be hanging out with these type of people, nobody who loves themselves would ever entertain the idea of ever fucking with these people. I never forget one of my boys was like, yo, man. I got this paper coming in, right? And I'm going to get five grand and then I'm going to go flip this and I'm going to end up with 15. What? Nigga, I'm out of here. I got a daughter, homie. I love myself. I've worked too hard for all of these years to hang out with somebody that's talking about flipping 5,000 and turning it to 15,000. So guess what, homie? Go get your money. Go do whatever you gotta do to double and triple your paper. But I'm not fucking with you. I'm out of here. Because I don't wanna be on the receiving end of whatever those consequences are that may come from you doing whatever it is that you're doing. And y'all know plenty of those type of people. They got guns, drugs, they talking about killing people, they've already killed people. They gangster cripping and blood and Mexican gangs and essays. They doing all of the negative, crazy and dysfunctional shit every single day. All of the women, they jealous and envious of you. They talk all of this shit about every girl and everything they're doing, who they dating, who they sleeping with. You don't think they talking about you? Are you that special to where all of your homegirls talk shit about everybody and you don't think they talking about you? So when people show you who they are, you got to believe it. And you have to make the adjustments according to 
all of these things that are revealed to you. Other than that, you become another person that's desperate to fuck with family. And your family is mean, evil, spiteful, condescending, and messed up. But you're so desperate for the validation. That's my family, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know they be mean talking about me and my wife and my kids, and they all mean and fucked up, but you know that's family, right? That's family? That's family. Oh, so they're allowed to tear you down because it's family. Hmm. Doing cuts me even deeper because we actually have the same blood in our bloodstream. I would much rather a random person in the street talk shit about me and tear me down than my own family. So guess what? I love me. I see the value in me. And I have to be careful of who and what I give emotional access to me. This is beyond important, y'all. The number two priority, all day, every day, is my daughter. What does that mean? That means that I don't love nobody as much as I love my daughter. My daughter has gave me a bottom line. My daughter has created new standards for me. My daughter has changed my life forever. I didn't know what love was until she got here. What does that mean? It means that you will never see me in a random club. You will never see me at dinner if my dinner isn't purpose driven. You will never see me hanging out or doing anything with anybody. I don't care who you are, how much money you're worth. I have visions, I have ideas, and I have goals. Now, I believe in connecting with people on a human level, but I am very mission and goal oriented. That's who I am. And so I would much rather stay at home than to be hanging out at clubs and doing a bunch of random shit that's not connected to producing results because I don't need friends. I don't need to just be around a bunch of people doing a bunch of random shit because I'm like a boxer that needs my validation. Feed you the man, you the champ, you sexy, you this, you that. As a matter of fact, after a while it gets annoying because you go to a restaurant, you got people walking up to you five, six, seven times while you trying to conduct business, asking for a photo or autograph or something. So shit, let me stay at home. I've never claimed to be the biggest star. Never claimed to be the most successful or having the most money. I'm just me. There's a lot of very talented, sexy, and attractive people running around here, but they don't have this mind, views, perspective, insight, and information. And so I'm passing it off to you. And I'm saying there's levels to this shit. And you can't get to the next level with all of the devils that you have in your life. You got so many negative, mean, evil, malicious, and dysfunctional people in your life and around your circles. This is the reason why you can't clear out the clutter and get to the next level. So that's it. If you make it to the end of this message, I want you to write self-love. Hashtag self-love.